Hello everyone, this is Ninjaland Games. Uh, how to save a lot of money buying video games. I haven't heard of very many people talking about this online too much. There's a lot of really great video game deals. Um, normally, uh, you know, the typical new releases of games are about $59. Man, video games nowadays are cheaper than ever and usually there's deals out there where you can get games for less than $59 on launch. Right now we live in a time where actually games are cheaper than $59, which is pretty crazy. Now just first off, I'm not affiliated with any of these companies. I have no connection to them whatsoever. I'm just a YouTuber who's putting out here all of the advice that I've learned about over the years. And we have the holiday season coming up, a lot of cool new releases coming up, and I thought I need to really need to get this video out to my viewers. And uh, please like and share and share it with all your friends so they can save money too. So first off, the first website I'd like to share with you is the, I'm just going to call it the Cheap A Gamer website. Um, you can see what the website is. I have my little mouse cursor pointing to what the actual name of the website is. I don't want to cuss. The website is really good website. It's a really stupid name for a website, but uh, other than that, a really good website. Basically, it's a website that follows all of the video game deals across online, retailers, everything. It has every, almost, And they do a really good job of posting almost every single video game related deal that's out there. Uh, so you can frequent this website. And you can also follow them on Twitter, I think. There's always the, the the big sales going on. There's the PSN sales, the Xbox uh, Live sales. So they cover everything. And it's a really good website to frequent because you're going to see what all the sale prices and all the deals that are coming out throughout the year. They're also going to cover the Black Friday sales too. For this website is that you can kind of compare and contrast what kind of deals are out there right now. And I'd have to say right now, uh, number one place to go for retailer is actually Best Buy. Uh, I'm not affiliated with Best Buy in any way. I just use their service and it saves me a lot of money. And so I just figured I should tell it to everyone. But I know there's a lot of people using the Amazon Prime to save 20% off on their games purchases. But Best Buy actually has the same kind of deal, but it's even cheaper. So they have something called, they call the My, My Gamers Club Unlocked. There we go. And basically it's $30 for two years. So it's a lot cheaper than Amazon Prime. So that's $15 a year. And you get 20% off all new game releases. It's 20% off even if they have a sale as well, which is really huge. So if they have a game on sale for, let's say, $30, you're going to get that for like $23. If they have, When the games come out brand new uh, at uh, $60, with tax in my state, uh, I live in Washington, you're going to get that for $52 for a brand new game. And then, so you also get trade-in bonus, 10% trade-in bonus credit. And some people, a lot of people didn't know that Best Buy has trade-ins. So you can go in, you can trade your games, get in-store credit, and then you can use in-store credit to buy a game, discounted 20% off, and sometimes on sale, which ends up being really amazing deals. Cheaper than even sometimes eBay, cheaper than Amazon, like, used prices. I've gotten new games before for cheaper than what people are selling them used. It's cr pretty crazy. And uh, I feel like a lot of people don't really know about it. I don't really hear very many people talking about it. You get this Gamers Unlocked and you get all these bonuses. Uh, you get trade-in bonus. And you can go to the Best Buy trade-in, actually, website. And you can type in the game and see what the value of it though is for trade-in. Most of the trade-in values are actually more than GameStop. And when you get that 10% bonus, it's going to be even more than GameStop. So it's a pretty good trade-in bonus. You know, not necessarily as much as just reselling your game sometimes on eBay. But definitely I've checked always uh, before I was going to resell or trade a game to a friend or do whatever just to see what the value of the game is going for. First off, you're going to want to sign up for the My Best Buy Rewards. And that's a free program where basically you spend money at Best Buy and you're going to get reward points. Whenever you get to 500 points, you're going to get a $5 in-store credit at Best Buy. Basically, as you're buying games and even when you trade games in, they give you credit for those rewards. So you're going to basically be making times two points when you get the Gamers Unlocked uh, for all video game related things. Uh, so you're, you're basically, as you're buying things, you're also going to be earning in-store credit uh, to get discounts off on more discounts off. So it's really cool. Uh, the next big thing is for this holiday season, they do this every year. Whenever you pre-order a game, uh, you're going to get a $10 rewards. Best Buy rewards sent to your uh, rewards account. So right now they have Assassin's Creed Origins, Super Mario Odyssey, Call of Duty, World War II, and Star Wars Battlefront 2, and Far Cry 5. Basically, these games, you're going to pre-order the game at Best Buy. You're going to get 20% off when your, your, your gamer's reward unlocked. 
and then you're also going to get another ten dollars off essentially you can get uh, this is in my state with the taxes included. You get Super Mario Odyssey for forty-two dollars. Basically, any of these new releases, you're gonna get them for forty-two dollars when you take off the when you get the rewards and you get all of the Gamers Unlocked discounts. So, really good deal. I don't hear very many people talking about how you can get Mario Odyssey or any of these new releases for forty-two dollars on launch. When you pre-order, you can go into the store and do a pickup there. Uh, so they're gonna have it ready for you and everything on the day of launch. Uh, they're even doing midnight releases on uh, for Mario Odyssey and Assassin's Creed. I think also for Call of Duty, they're doing midnight releases. So uh, anyways, really, really good deals out there. Best Buy, Gamers Unlocked. So that's my number one pick for sales on online and uh, in stores retail sales for video games. Uh, number two pick is actually going to be Amazon. Um, so if you have Amazon Prime, you can get 20% off new purchases of, purchases of video games. And I think they also might have a reward system. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Just one more thing to add in there on the Best Buy. Um, if you sign up for their credit card, you're going to get, I think it's like times three or times four points on all thing, all points that you spend at Best in, in Best Buy. You're going to get eat rewards it, rewarded even faster. So, I mean, you might want to look at that credit card. I don't know. It's up to you. Uh, but going over to Amazon, basically Amazon has a similar deal. If you have Amazon Prime, and Amazon Prime does cost, I don't know what it's at now, maybe it's like more than $100 a year. I mean, but a lot of people use Amazon Prime for other things too. So, I mean, Amazon Prime, it's a pretty good deal too. Uh, and I actually, I actually am going to probably be subscribing to that as well. Best Buy is just beating it, it hands down. Best Buy is beating it. If you go over to Best Buy sales as well, like every week they have different sales. They have a lot of good games on sale too, so... And it's usually within a month or two that they're having a game on sale. So they're they're really be, Best Buy is doing a really good push to try to push and compete with Amazon, even though a lot of people are already on Amazon it seems. So the next deal after Amazon Prime would probably be uh, GameStop. Uh, GameStop does have a, a new reward system that they're coming out with. Um, it's they're trying to compete with Best Buy uh, with their sales and that kind of stuff, but ultimately. GameStop just doesn't measure up to Amazon and games uh, and Best Buy. So GameStop's all right though. Sometimes they have occasionally have a deal of like uh, buy two pre owned get one free, and that's a really good uh, deal to check out too. Um, so yeah, ultimately these are really good deals. Uh, another uh, really good website, obviously check on with Cheap A Gamer. Keep following all their deals because there's a lot of other websites out there with really good deals, but you're gonna be able to find them all at that Cheap A Gamer website. So uh, basically, that's it what I have for you today. I uh, hope you like and subscribe. Be able to share this with your friends. Save them some money. Uh, basically, you can get Mario Odyssey for $42 if you have Gamers Unlocked. And also Star Wars uh, Battlefront 2 and Call of Duty. All these games, I'm going to be getting them all. And I'll see you playing. I'm probably going to put a lot of tips and tricks videos out for some of these games. So look forward to more videos. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you can have a really good holiday season. I'll definitely have more videos before the end of the year. I'm just, I'm just saying. But anyways, have a good holiday season shopping around. Hope you have a good time and uh, getting good deals and having fun playing games. Have a good day. It's from Ninja Land Games. Out.